Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is 10th video in uh, Veeam Advanced Training and in this video I am going to show you how to create forever forward incremental backup in Veeam. So in last video we have enabled the incremental backup uh, uh, for the Veeam for Veeam uh, VM01 and 02 so I am going to repeat the same thing uh, this time and we will verify the forever incremental backup is working and how we can identify that uh, this is a uh, forward incremental backup and how we can uh, 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 verify the difference between the uh, backup files and uh, uh, like um, these incremental backups files and full backup files so we'll do in detail so this is my lab environment which we have used in last video so we have first server which is DC01 which is our Active Directory server you can see Active Directory and DNS role is running on this machine and our second server is Veeam itself which is Win2K12 Veeam server and this is Veeam backup and replication server so I'm going to open Veeam uh, backup and replication console on this server I'm going to connect so our last server is a Hyper-V host which is Win2K HV01 which is a standalone Hyper-V host and it's running on this Hyper-V host we have running two virtual machine which is VM01 and 02 so let's verify these virtual machines so here two machines are running I'm going to connect it so I have reverted my machines back, our uh, Veeam server and all the infrastructure back so we are not having any backup running which we have configured in last uh, video so just to clear you this information so we are starting again by creating a forever forever full backup forever, uh, forever uh, inc forward incremental backup so this is our infrastructure here and these are the two virtual machines which is running and I'm going on Veeam server again and you can see we don't have jobs which we have created in last video so I'm now I'm going to create one backup job here and Microsoft Hyper-V and I'm going to create here VM01 and VM02 for both the virtual machine and this is going to be a uh, forward so just type forever forward inc incremental backup at 8 pm every day so this is the description which we are going to use forever forward incremental backup at 8 p.m. every day and click next and now we have to add virtual machine so I'm going to add my both virtual machine 1 and 2 and then we have all already discussed all these things so I'm not going to discuss again just click on next and then we have a storage here so I'm going to use the Veeam backup repository and this is the main thing which we have a retention policy so if I go here next we next slide you can see uh, this statement so full backup we have a full backup and then we have an incremental backup so all this is saying we have a seven day backup like we have a seven day restore point so the first backup is always going to be a full backup so I'm going to uh, uh, set this to for example four or five and then we are going to have only this backup Sunday Monday Tuesday Wednesday and Thursday so we have we are going to have a most recent five backup at a time to restore from so I'm going to set to five and then click next I'm not going to change any advanced setting so just here we need to uh, make sure the synthetic full backup is not enabled so I'm going to disable it and you can see here incremental is recommended which is by default going to run forever incremental backups so I'm going to click here ok and then next 
and then I'm not going to enable anything here just click on next and this need to be run on 8 p.m. every day and this is default so I'm going to click OK and this is what this job is going to create Veeam backup uh, name for VM0102 and target path Hyper-V host this and then we have a source item VM0102 and the repository and then have a uh, target repository host and then we have a target repository path so I'm going to run this job once so the first time it's going to take the full backup of this machine these two VMs so it's going to take some time and meanwhile we can go here and verify the backup you know, the folder has been created with the name of backup job here which is VM01 and VM02 and you can see the metadata file has been al also created which is containing the backup chain metadata files so so you can see backup job is running here and we have one failed backup here for this job only you can go here it's saying fail to create cryptograph tech service provider so not an issue again this is going to run and this is going to be taken care so that's why we have always set up this uh, policy if the backup is fail it's going to retry again and it's going to run again which is here you can see retry failed items processing three times and it's going to wait for 10 minutes after each retry so th that's okay and now we can go here and we can see the backup is running and almost 58 percent completed so now it's about to finish I'm going to enable the extension view so this is VBK file which is the first backup and now you can see the backup job has been completed and now we have one restore point which is basically a VBK file full backup you can see from here and now I'm going to run few backups again and again so to reach out to the five backup jobs which we have uh, mentioned here during the during the retention policy so this uh, this backup job is automatically cre going to uh, um, going to take care five restore point only so for example if we started on Sunday it's going to take uh, to the Sunday to Thursday then we are going to have a one two three and four ba uh, five backups total which include one full backup and four incremental backup so I'm going to achieve this first and then we are going to see how the forward back incremental backup is going to work so you can see it's almost completed so now we have two copies of backups now we have two copies and I'm going to run again so I'm going to run this uh, this backup job five times and then I'm going to resume vi video once again once we have a full five uh, backups uh, which is four incrementals which is going to be a four incremental and one full backup so I'm going to pause the recording here so now if you go here you can see we have one full backup and four incremental backup so this is going to complete our uh, restore point so which we have set to five so ideally if I'm going to take new backup which is going to be an incremental this time it's going to make the changes in this files which are here so I'm going to mark this for just to make sure we uh, and forever incremental is working so I'm going to check this this mark and then we need to make sure we have a full backup 
which is this and we have a incre uh, first incremental backup is this one so what I'm going to do I'm going to run backup one more time and then we'll see the changes what is going to be happen in this structure so ideally the first backup is always going to have a full backup as per um, this forever forward incremental backup so we'll see how it's going to work so backup is started now it's running we can identify this is incremental backup you can see one additional file has been created here so let's wait to complete this backup and then we'll verify this file has been updated and it's not more going to be here which is the first full incremental because it's uh, this have to maintain five restore point only so it's running now and at the end of this is job so just wait for a few more seconds to make the changes and you can see now status is merging and it's 99 completed now it's finally going to be in success and now in if in I go in success you can see we have six backup jobs which is full is a uh, fun first one is incremented then a uh, uh, full backup then we have a uh, all incremental so now we can see from here the first backup which was this file uh, 14 17 42 is has been removed this file is no more exist on the restore send point and the full backup has been moved to the second copy is now made uh, available as a full copy which is this one you can identify this file size has been changed for around 330 MB to this big file so means the forward incremental backup is always going to maintain the forward file the the first file as an incremental backup so during the first session of backup job Veeam creates a full backup that we have verified the first time it's created the full backup and then we can see during the subsequent or next backup job Veeam will copy only the changes which was uh, made in the block size and last block uh, and from the last backup full on incremental and save blocks in incremental file chain so this is also verified all the data has been backed as incremental and this is saved uh, in a VIB format which is a Veeam incremental so after adding a restoration point the backup chain Veeam checks the retention policy so yes Veeam check the retention policy and have modified the retention policy as if the Veeam backup and replication detect the outdated restore points it stands for the backup chain to make room in most restore, a recent restore point so this is also proved so this is all how the forward incremental backup works and how we can configure the forward incremental backup so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this you can always post me on my given mail IDs. Thank you once again. Bye-bye.